When we traveled, that's what we did. We just that, that's why the book called on <laughs> because uh, we traveled a lot. We started traveling out from there is in 1940 when our mother passed. So that, that's how Aboriginal people are. You just don't stay in one place. You just pack up and you move on. That's where our nomad life started. There was um, four that was older than me. My sister, my uh, three brothers, and we'd lost one. And of course myself and the three others after me. But we didn't have much. It was like flour, tea and sugar, and bits of, few tins of whatever. But we were satisfied enough with just having a lot of uh, tea and damper and good jam on it. That's all really stopped mainly. And then of course Dad hunted game like kangaroos and rabbits and things like that. We just lived, lived off the land, if you like. Learned a lot of things through him, you know, the way he did things and how he was to people. You know, we, we had lots of people come to our camp now and then, you know, but he'll have an extra billy or damper cook or something and share that out. And they just come to visit, just sat around and they talked, that sort of thing. Yeah, and when I did tell them, uh, various ones, oh, my father's passed now. I feel so sorry. I said, now who, who's going to feed us? We didn't have beds or anything. <laughs> we just had, the, the only means of travel, um, transport we had was camels. So uh, it was swags. You know, just roll out the swag. And can, yeah, under the stars. And you move. <laughs> that was our life. Children in the towns and the cities, they had their backyards to play. But us, we have this vast open country, and that was our backyard. <laughs>